Hey, this is Lynn Hale and Grace Hale from New Life Legacy Farm and we're actually here at one of our favorite homestead this morning. We got up super early to come and to process. We're gonna be processing two pigs and a goat today. So we're gonna be learning a lot and it's gonna be a lot of fun mm -hmm. and we're excited. We're a little bit later than what we wanted to be because Grace overslept. I was up to 4:50. To 4:50. So it's not like even not morning. even quite seven yet. But there's actually a lot of people already here. They got a fire going, and we're excited. Grace keeps telling me to step away from the scalder because she's scared that I'm gonna drop it in. And then after she told Look, me, I've that, had this camera for like a month, not even a whole month yet. So yeah, we're not, we're, we're definitely not trying to mess it up. And then she tells me the story about how when Josh actually, <laughs> <laughs> Josh here. Yes. What do you want to do with this hair and stuff? Throw it on the actually, he actually dropped his camera in the scalder one day when they were processing chickens, and Jordan was telling it was kind of a funny story. Josh was like over there trying to fix the camera, and Jordan was like, "Josh, I know you're really upset about the camera, but we still got to butcher the chickens. We still got to butcher the chickens." So he has since then. So Josh, you have since then gotten a new camera. I have, I have gotten a new camera. I'll be getting a new mic this year and probably a new lens. So, but <laughs> hey, it works. It's, it's just so it's funny, but not funny story, and it's not gonna. But yeah, I'm, I'm got to like. What is snuggled up in that blanket? It's a piglet. piglet. Is it two or one piglet? One. one. Just one little piglet? So I am here with, what's your name? Joey. Joey. So I'm here with Joey and I met him today at Josh and Jordan's at Worky Aussie's Homestead. And Joey, tell me what do you want, what do you like to do in your free time? Um, play Legos. Play Legos? Yeah. You know, and that's what, and how old are you? Eight. Eight. So I met his family here and they're actually from around Raleigh. Um, his mom and his dad and he has three other siblings. And so I'm hoping they seem like a really awesome family. I'm hoping, Joy, that you are gonna get to come to my house maybe one day we could all get together. Would that be fun? Yeah. Um, your hands have got to be freezing. Tonight, just day off. Uh, started to feel so, started to feel bad for for Mandy. I thought she needed some help. So I'm with Jordan from Working Aussie's Homestead and this amazing barn that Josh, her husband, built. And actually, maybe you helped build. Uh, he did most of the work. Well, I, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't want to assume that. But this is actually the first time they have butchered pigs here on their homestead. So what are you thinking so far? I like it. I was super excited for this event. You know, we've been planning this event for months and months. And one of the pigs that we butchered was actually born here. So this was us seeing that full circle. Um, you know, we bought a boar last year so that we can have a sustainable pork source on our own homestead and not have to worry about buying pigs um, any more than the pigs that we already have. So I was really excited to butcher um, him and another pig that we had and we're going to do a goat. 
So. Yeah, so I feel like things so far have gone extremely, extremely well. Uh -huh. And one thing that I think that's really awesome about Josh and Jordan is this, anything that they bring here to, to raise, they really want to be able to process here. What is your rationale for wanting to do that versus go, going to take it somewhere else to get it processed? So when we were in the research phase of, you know, figuring out what we wanted to start with on our homestead, um, you know, the nearest USDA processing plant is two and a half hours away in mm -hmm. South Carolina. And for us, we were like, I couldn't imagine taking our animals on a two and a half hour stressful ride and then waiting there to be processed there because we read a little bit about how, you know, when the animal is less stressed when you process, it doesn't affect the meat at all versus, you know, if they do get stressed or if it's done in an inhumane way, the meat can become tough. There, It just will have an overall different taste. And so that was our biggest thing was we agreed, whatever comes here leaves by our hand and whatever that means is we need to learn how to process that. So we processed our own chickens, we've processed our own turkeys, our own ducks, our own rabbits, and then today our own pigs, and we're gonna do one of our own goats. So it'll be so I've, yes. exciting yet. So yes, we hadn't seen the goat yet, but the two pigs, and I, that's gone amazing. So I'm hoping our next batch of pigs that we are gonna actually process them. On that part, we will be there. We'll yes, be there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So they're the ones who have actually inspired us. The first time that we processed meat birds was actually here at their house. Back in December 2019. So yes, yes. we've come a long ways. <laughs> so I haven't actually been here since June of 2021 because I got one of their Australian Shepherd puppies. And man, y'all, they have done so much, so many things here. So many, I mean, they're constantly doing new things. What are some of the things? So Josh has built this barn. They have chickens over here making on deep bedding system making compost. They have pigs on a deep bedding system. Mm -hmm. We've got um, a litter of piglets that are 10 days old. So they're in here. Then we have our breeding rabbits back behind us. Um, but like some of the newer things, we're adding over 2,000 square feet of garden space this year. So I've got an herb garden I just put in beside the barn. It's 420 square feet. We're gonna do a cut flower garden over by the house. That's gonna be about 660 square feet. And then we've expanded our um, main garden. It's gonna be 24 rows that are 36 feet long. We do kind of market garden style. They're 30 inch beds with 18 inch walkways. And so we're expanding that space to be 3,744 square feet. So always something going on. <laughs> yes, they have always got something something going on. These guys are super busy and they have a YouTube channel too that's amazing. And so hopefully Y'all do a video at least once a week. Josh said he's hoping to, mm -hmm. to yep. get consistent with that. So definitely. Well, check us out working as he's homestead. Yes, they're mm -hmm. amazing. Let's get back to and we love processing them. animals. I know. We love you guys too. <laughs> here with Mindy and her and her family came down to working at this homestead to help them process the pig and let me tell you they are awesome at what they do. How many pigs have y'all processed before? Yes, a lot. Um, I don't know. We've like what, one or two? <laughs> More. Um, I'm totally kidding. Friends and family we'll do about I don't know seven to nine. Amazing. So you have done about eight or nine a year? We, we stand to do those a year and then um, so right now we've got four processing um, butchering workshops scheduled before April with um, people that have bought our pigs um, that have thrown them out that are returning their pigs to our farm to process together. That's awesome. So y'all are doing, so they're doing butchering workshop, workshops, mm -hmm. pig, pig butchering workshops. So these are people you said that have actually bought pigs from you, but yeah. they're people that are interested and they're watching this and like, man, I want to go to a pig butchering workshop. 
do they have needed to like get so there's so there's a couple different things right now we're offering the workshops only for our pigs so whether that is you buy a weanling pig from us you take it to your farm you raise it out and you bring it back and we process it together or we raise it out for you those are the two options the other well those are two options the third option is is I'm going to grow out um, a pig or two and just invite anybody who is interested in doing this with us and we'll just kind of do like a communal communal processing of those pigs so like um, a community so that's awesome well say, if somebody if there's somebody that's interested in getting a pig from you or in, interested in the future of doing a workshop how could they get in contact with you um so we've got a website it's rivercomb farms R E V E R C O M B farms with an S dot com. I'll leave that actually in the description too. Right. We're on Facebook. We're hoping that we're hoping that we're actually going to get to go visit them soon because I want to see their whole process. Yeah. So if y'all are in the area of Bridgewater, um, Virginia, look us up. Good day. Cool. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I think one of the awesome things that Grace and I love about coming to things like this is just the community feeling that you get and just the people that you meet at things at events like this they're always just so super kind and warm and welcoming this has been a fun day grace what has been some of your favorite your highlights for oh today? i gutted a pig and i scraped two pigs and i scalded a pig so grace did a lot of first um yeah i've never done anything to a pig i've so, done all no. my stuff with deer but i've never done a pig yeah, there's no telling how many deer that she's cleaned. But yes, she's done a lot of firsts today. I've done a lot of firsts today. <laughs> so this is John, Jeff, Billy Ball. I'm not really... Jeff. It's not that scary. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jeff. He's the one. He's, he's the one that it's his birthday today. So he has a uh, he has a new name for Grace. <laughs> Miss Danny Boone. <laughs> Miss Danny like Boone is her new name. How you like your new name, Grace? Um, I mean Danny Boone. Daniel Boone is pretty cool. <laughs> so, would you take Danny right. Boone? I'm probably. Danny, I mean, if Jeff would keep yeah. teaching me how to gut pigs and stuff, yes. Well, <laughs> you're always welcome, to Virginia, to go work on them with us. <laughs> So it wouldn't be your mom wouldn't let you, you can come with us now. <laughs> oh no, she's she's way uh, she's way too helpful at home. <laughs> but Mindy, what are you making right now? This <laughs> is Conhas. Conhas. So we took all of our bone scraps, our organs, the tongue. We put it in this big pot of boiling water and boiled it down just like you'd be making bone broth. We ladled it out, picked picked the meat from the bones ground the meat up, put the meat back into the broth, added cornmeal, added flour, added salt. And now we're just stirring, 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 and adding until we get the right thickness and consistency. And then we're gonna ladle it out into some loaf pans and let it sit. And that is your pot hoss. So that's a wrap for our first pig processing day. So hopefully that's the first of many. It has been a good day. Slightly chilly with a high of about 37, I think, <laughs> or so. I just looked at, at Oak City and it says it's going to maybe start snowing. So we're we need to hurry up. Yeah, we're going to get on the road. High tail at home. So yeah, but it's been an awesome day. Yeah.